What is up guys? Welcome back to Core CSS Mastery. In this lesson, we're going to be getting started with styling using CSS. Now it's recommended that you follow along on your own system. So here is what we're going to need. First of all, some sort of code text editor. In this course, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. If you don't have a preference at this stage, I recommend that you just download Visual Studio Code. It works with Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it's completely free to download and use. If you have your own preferred text editor for code, that's completely fine. Just keep in mind, it should be specialized for writing code. The idea is that these code text editors offer a feature known as linting and syntax highlighting. These are extra features offered by code text editors that make writing code much more straightforward than just looking at plain text in a single color. Next thing we're going to need is a web browser. So I'm going to be using Firefox in this course. You can use Chrome as well. Probably one of those two browsers is going to be the best option, either Firefox or Chrome, because we will be making use of the dev tools and Firefox and Chrome have very good dev tools. Now the other browsers are catching up. So if you really prefer to use another browser and you have your favorite browser, that's completely fine. But recommended option is either Firefox or Chrome for this. Why do we need a web browser? Well, obviously we're going to be looking at web pages. We want to see the effect our CSS is having on these web pages. And in order to load up the web pages and see the results of our CSS, we're going to need a web browser. That's pretty much it. You only need two things to participate in this course, code text editor and a web browser. I suspect you very likely already have these two things, but if not, just grab them before proceeding with this video. So here on the desktop, we have a shortcut to Visual Studio Code. We also have a folder or a shortcut to a folder where we're going to be keeping our files where we write our HTML and CSS. So step number one is going to be to fire up our Visual Studio Code editor. So here is Visual Studio Code and we've loaded up this core CSS directory where we're going to be creating our files. First thing we're going to do is to create a new file and we'll call it hello underscore CSS underscore world dot HTML. And here we're going to compose a quick HTML document. And we should really start this with doc type HTML. We should usually include a head as well. We're not going to worry too much about this right now. We are just going to go straight into the HTML because this is a course on CSS, not HTML. So let's start with a H1 tag and we're just going to type hello CSS world. And the next thing we're going to do is load this up in a browser. So we'll click Control and S or maybe Command and S if you're on a Mac to save this file. And if we head into our core CSS shortcut directory, we can see our file here. It's being associated with Microsoft Edge. We're actually going to open that with Firefox in this case. And this is essentially our setup. We've got our HTML page there on our right being loaded in the browser. We have our text editor on the left. If we make changes to this HTML document and save, we can then reload the page on the right and we'll see the changes reflected immediately. So let's get right into styling this heading. The first thing we're going to do is include a style tag at the bottom of this HTML document. Now this indicates that we're about to provide styling information and inside these style tags, we can use CSS and the results are going to be reflected on the page. Now there is more than one way to include CSS as part of a HTML document. In fact, there are three different ways. We'll look at the other ways a little bit later on in this course, but for now, we're just going to include CSS by using these style tags. We'll jump straight into a quick example, but we'll explain what we're doing a bit later in the course. So we have our H1 tag. Let's say we're interested in changing the color of that. First of all, we need to indicate which element we're targeting. So H1 in this case, we then use these curly brackets. This is referred to as a CSS rule. And inside a CSS rule, we have various properties. For example, we're interested in changing the color property of the H1 tag. And then we have a value. So if we type red, that is our value. So our property is color. Our value is red. And the overall block there is referred to as a CSS rule. Let's save that. Let's reload our page. And congratulations if you've followed along. You've just successfully styled your first HTML element using CSS. So this is all of the basics you need to know in order to get started. Before we end this lesson, let's have a bit of fun with this element. 
So let's change the color to something like blue. And it's possible to add additional properties and values to a single rule. So for example, we could have a font size value. Let's set that to 50 pixels. And you can see we get a bigger font size there. And naturally, the larger this value here, the larger the text is going to be. If we look very closely at this font, it has these little kickers at the bottom and the sides of the text. In technical terms, these are referred to as serifs. Now we may not want serifs. It gives the font a very official look. We might want something that's a bit more friendly and readable. So we can use font family property and choose sans serif, which means without the serif. Let's see what our browser gives us now. And finally, let's make use of an advanced value, which you might not use too much, but it looks cool. And that is text shadow. And we're going to provide a set of different sizings in terms of pixels, which are going to define the shadow. And we're going to supply a color. Let's give it the color cyan. Let's save that Let's refresh our page. And you can see we have very small cyan shadow around that text. Let's see if we can boost some of these values to give us slightly more pronounced shadow here. Okay, there we go. So in this lesson, we've seen how to get started with a basic setup for working with CSS. We've then styled our first HTML element, which was a H1 tag. And we've created a rule inside style tags and provided properties and values to style that element. Now, don't worry too much if some of that seemed quite fast or you don't know what the various values and properties do. We're going to be discussing that in the upcoming lessons. Thanks for watching, guys.